Hello, Cracking the Cryptic audience. Today, a very special video. We have John Halpern with us, who is an extremely well-known and extremely brilliant cryptic crossword setter. Um, I am allowed to say that about him. He can't say it for himself, I'm sure, but uh, it's definitely true. And uh, he will be known to any of you who do Guardian crosswords as Paul. He has a number of other guises. Um, and I have known him a long time, although I haven't seen him for a long time as well. And uh, it's a great pleasure to be back in touch with you, John. How are you doing? Oh, bless you. Thanks so much for that lovely introduction. I, I'm good. I'm really well, thank you. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a joy to be here. Thanks for inviting me along. Well, that's a pleasure. And I know you've got something important to tell us, which is great. But uh, why don't you introduce who you are and your background for our listeners? Yeah, so... Um, yeah, I've been having wordplay fun for years and years and years. Um, and gosh, uh, when, I, when I was a kid, uh, my mom and dad both did cryptic crosswords. And I, 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 I thought, what is going on here, frankly? Um, it all started, started off when my mum my, my had completed the Times crossword and she left it on the kitchen table. Um, and I learned all the answers from it. And I went down to the news agent to support my own Times. And then went to see my favourite football team, Brighton and Hove Albion, play, and stood in the north stand with all the all the louts, um, and pulled out the Times crossword at five to three, five minutes before kickoff, and polished the whole lot off. And I'm amazed I didn't get beaten up. But I well, I was thinking it. that would be um, the natural reaction of a football fan would be to assault you. Yeah. I know it was a really ridiculous way, but I was kind of in the door at that that moment, and um, began to fall in love with what what's going on, and. Um, yeah, and um, so I, I kind of some, something clicked at some point, and I thought, actually, do you know what? I want to be a crossword setter, and um, and actually, for for me, I went off to um, once I finished school, I went off to study um, maths and music in it at uh, Canterbury, and I kind of wasn't really sure what to do with my life, but um, I was getting more and more into into, into crosswords, um, but also just I'd, I'd, I'd had a it was a really difficult time because I just lost my father and uh, my brother, who's my best friend, Paul, um, had, had, had died in a car accident. And oh my goodness. It was a really, uh, yeah, it was a really, really, really tricky time. And, um, and I was dealing with a lot of anxiety, really, um, and uh, just kind of shut myself away. And there's something about, something about dealing with puzzles, which... Um, was great because I, I had lots of problems myself, but actually here's a problem I, I could solve and yeah. deal with. And it felt great. I wasn't sort of in my head. I mean, that's you know, you know, we've we've uh, many of us have had had this going on. I'm sure there's something about puzzles in there, and that's why Absolutely. your site's doing so beautifully um, well. Well, I think that's what we hear a lot is people like having a real life problem that has an actual solution that they can get to. And it's not, or sorry, I shouldn't have said real life. It's not like real life where there are problems which don't have solutions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So yes, it does seem, you know, the site, we, we constantly get emails from people saying it is helping with anxiety and that's fantastic. And the same is definitely true of cryptic crosswords I know from experience. Yes, thanks very much. Yeah, it is. Um, and I, I and I mean, I found it really, yeah, it was really great therapy just to just to delve into this. And um, and I I fell in love with it more and more and more. Um, and then suddenly thought I I, I just want to spend all my time doing this and practicing writing clues. And I I'd found out somewhere to get really good at some something you have to do ten thousand hours. Work oh, yeah. on something. So thought, okay, well, yeah. I'm not that bright, so I'll do I'll do twenty thousand. <laughs> so <laughs> so, uh, so I kind of shut myself in a room um, for two or three years and worked from the moment I got up to the moment I went to sleep, practicing clue writing until wow. um, I kind of got to the point where I thought I got one decent puzzle put together and sent <laughs> it off to my then hero at the time um Arakaria, who's on, on on the guardian and um we ended up becoming friends and uh a few years later i'm very lucky you know i i'm published across all the uk nationals um and uh it's more or less full-time doing this but but also where we come to what what i was going to say here today and and thanks so much for mark for, for giving me a chance to say this is um i'm also really keen on um 
spreading this love and creating community around uh, as you are um yeah. around uh, around puzzles and um and 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 making a difference and and something i've always kind of promised my brother paul because um paul was really the inspiration for doing all that work all those years ago because i i chose to take his name in the in the guardian um and uh, it was really a real privilege to get published under his name and i get to see his name all the time and talk about him he was a really lovely lovely guy um is in his honor i i made a promise to myself to make uh, a million pounds for charity before i'm 60 which is wow. five years away um and setting up so, and i thought how can i do that this and and you know i'm a puzzle guy so <laughs> it's kind of what i know um over the years you get to know of a number of different celebrities who there are lots of celebrities who solve a lot of people in acting seem to, to, Interesting. Seem to solve. you know you, you've got a you've got a a few you know sitting around and um, what can i do with those minutes and i'll solve a few clues um but uh, there are a lot of lot of people also in the in the corridors of Parrot Westminster. There are you know there are lots of lots of people doing it. Comedians, a lot of comedians seem to do it. I've found so I've been noting down names over the years, and I thought, how can I, if you like, create something that's fun that people might want to come to? So I created something a little bit crazy called um, it's celebrity create a crossword for charity cccc um <laughs> and uh ran seven of these um a while back with seven different celebrities and what how it works shall i tell you a little bit about please do work? what what happens is it an event in a real place or is it online yeah it's a, it's 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 online it's a zoom call um it's a two-hour zoom call and if you're interested in seeing how a crossword is put together um I've created it such that you can sign up to my website, which hopefully you'll give the little link to johnhalpern.co.uk. Um, and then thank you very, very much for that. Um, and you and you can come along to one or more of the um, of the of the celebrities celebrity events. And we have seven different different celebrities arriving to be my guests for two hours. And together, you can watch and participate in a bit if you like me panicking horribly and creating a cryptic crossword from scratch in front of you so you get to see why the grid's chosen how the words go in how the clues are written you might so will the celebrities be providing some seed or inspiration for for the start of the grid then is that the plan yeah well the the, the plan is the celebrity i've given the celebrities um a choice of themes so um, um, something that they're really, really interested in, and they, for instance, um, our, our our first celebrity is um, actor Jack Fox, who is one of the um, illustrious Fox acting family. I've just been watching Fox. Sanditon series uh, two. Oh, there you go. He's there you go. Part of that. He's 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 a big part of Sanditon. Also, Riviera, um, which I think is on Sky Atlantic. Um, he's, he's a very bad man in both of those. I have to say. But he's strongly with he strongly is, is lovely and uh hope yeah. he might be bad on the call, but you don't you just don't know. You just <laughs> don't know. Um but uh, he's chosen um one word film titles, so you can probably oh, okay. think of one or two anyway before you rope and vertigo and uh that vertigo. sort of thing. Yeah. Barbara, um yeah, yeah stuff like that. Any anything. Um so we put them together and it's um we put them all together and and then as i say you can have a go and i'll give a little bit of coaching on how to write a clue so have you pre-created grids then or will you be doing that online so i will probably have um two or three grids sitting there with the crossword compiler software that i have yeah and we'll find some words that we like and then choose a grid okay so you will complete the grid as well as the clues online yeah. fantastic in two hours. that's really <laughs> setting yourself a challenge <laughs> we've managed to do it so far but just to let you know uh the process for me and i've been doing it for years takes between six and eight hours and yeah. we're doing it two and well I, you know this is so uh that's exactly yeah. what i was thinking i mean <laughs> i've compiled a few cryptic crosswords myself as you know and uh yeah, i was absolutely. thinking to get it done in two hours i'm not quite sure what you get at the end of that well, I mean, that, that, absolutely. The, the whole thing is you get to see the whole process and you get to participate in it. 
and whatever we create and a few clues and we put them in what i'll do at the end is i will tidy it up afterwards and um everyone who comes along i will send a copy of the puzzle and you get to feel like you've been a part of that you can show it to your friends Fantastic. Share, it, share it with your friends as well um, and do you have any so, audience yeah. interaction or is that is it more just you and the celebrity yeah well th there's a bit of each really i mean i'll, I'll i can as i say it's on a voluntary basis you can either watch the whole thing unfold um sit there with a cup of tea and do that and that's that's great um and i might ask a few people say, say who wants to take this word and write a clue for it and if you fancy having a go at it okay. um you can share that so um so yeah participate or not it's completely fine um and the charity element then tell us about that yeah so the the charity element is um so if you would like to attend it's 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 on a voluntary basis you don't have to make a donation but each celebrity has chosen a particular charity um and you would be sent a link and you can you can join the zoom you'll be told when it is given a bit of time to a couple of days notice or something like that of when it's going to come out um but also there'll be a link to um, a charity of that celebrity's choice and that's another thing which had the celebrities come along as well because you know it would make a difference to a charity which is important to them so um jack jack fox i asked him i asked him what charity he wants and he would love to do it for the samaritans and i i did ask him would he be prepared to share why because there's usually a reason behind it and he said um he said i'm just reading this quote someone very dear to me uh, found themselves in need and without their help um they may no longer be with us so um, yeah, yeah. yeah for those who don't know samaritans is, is an on you can if you if you have um very dark thoughts and need help at a critical moment you can you can call them up and there'll be someone on the end of the line for for you um for you um wonderful charity so so that's great and we we did seven um celebrities last time and raised 10 grand over the over the events hoping wow. to at least that's double it this time and so it's the and celebrities charity your, 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 your so it's always the celebrities charity it's not your always, own charity or anything yep yeah, always a celebrities charity um always uh the celebrities choice of theme as well so they come sort of excited <laughs> excited about what it is um we've got some may i share some of the celebrities we've got. yeah tell us who the celebrities are we'd love to know oh, oh my gosh we've got some amazing amazing ones so uh jack jack is going to be the first one i'm doing them one one a month he's on november the 15th um so uh we've also got nick hornby um which is fabulous uh he's obviously What's he done? I mean, I read Fever Pitch when I was when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah, yeah. Fever Pitch was seminary, seminal for me as well. And yeah, uh, Outer Boy and uh, About a Boy is brilliant. A long way down the red set of novels. How to Be Good, I think that's him. Yeah, maybe. But he, yeah, he's he he's he's wonderful. Um, I knew about him because he he'd written a, a funny letter in the Guardian page about me um, a while brilliant. back, and I kind of knew he was knew he was into it, so I kind of noted the name down. Um, but he's been really, really generous, and he's going to do um, he's going to do his puzzle on record labels, which is. Oh, I remember his, his novel High Fidelity now, which was all yeah. about the songs of his youth or yeah. the, the character's youth. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and he's chosen uh, the Ministry of Stories, which I, I didn't know, but it's a it's a charity he set up himself. Uh, people and adults with their writing skills and learning confidence and yeah we've got um we've got angela barnes as well who's a fabulous comedian she's um, brilliant she is brilliant she's on mock the week um you might have seen that she's got a red hair and glasses and um she she's great um she's doing it in honor of um a fellow comedian phil jared who unfortunately uh, died of cancer last year. He was only forty-two, so she's doing it in in aid of uh, Sarcoma UK um, in his honour. And uh, and apparently, apparently he oh, check him out on um, wherever as well. He's he's great. But um, yeah, so um, he apparently was a big fan of Stephen King novels. So we might do it on Stephen King novels. Oh, okay. Um, so that's going to be great and hilarious, I'm sure. Um, 
Who else have we got? We've got, uh, oh my goodness, we've got Jane Asher. You know, J- J- Jane Asher. I know, Jane Asher. Um, she's, yeah, she's, she, she's, a, she's a model way back. She's now a philanthropist. She's been, she's appeared in ver- various different things, including sort of the soap cross, crossroads and all sorts of things. Yeah, she used to make cakes in my area. She had the really posh cake shop in Kensington. Yeah, she's a cake maker. I was going to, I said, should we do it? about cakes i'm trying to think what 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 she said she was going to do but um but that's that's going to be great anyway some of them some of the um most of the times actually haven't been sorted out but as i say we're going to do one a month and so it's one a month um, starting from the middle of november is it starting from the middle of november um jack fox is the first one um so come along to that and as i say you know you can come along to as many as, as you like it'd be great if you could make a make a donation every time if you can't afford that that's completely fine you know how you know how tough things are um and even if it's a small donation that's 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 fabulous different people can afford different things so whatever works for you um who else we got we got um monica grady who's a space scientist um we've got um roger allen who's uh di fred thursday in endeavor um he's a lawrence olivier actor winner um fabulous actor we've um uh, trying to think what he what he does we got alistair mcgowan what is he what his i can't remember what his charity is um alistair mcgowan um who uh, was impressionist concert day. pianist Amazing. he's a concert pianist now he's a brilliant impressionist concert pianist um so he's either he's either going to do he's not quite sure but he might do fruit and vegetables because he's really into his gardening and stuff <laughs> um or what what was the other one uh, or all the or concert pianists or something like that so he's not quite sure yet um um but that should be fun um what who else we got um chris marshall who's um the actor from death in paradise he's also been in love actually um also in got... sanderton as well also in sanderton also yeah. in sanderton um let's see who else i don't want to miss anyone else uh one two we've got eight all together have i mentioned everyone oh my goodness fantastic well if you have we will cover that we will put them in the description <laughs> field and apologize to them in person when we get there brilliant it's brilliant um so, yeah, so but so if i could sorry. just say i mean for our audience it's not just the celebrities and the charity it's the chance to look inside the mind of a, a brilliant crossword constructor in in the person of john and uh, see how he goes about his craft and what he does and it's going to be really interesting to me i have to say um i'm planning to turn up to certainly a few if i can and um, yeah we're really looking forward to trailing these events before they happen and uh sort of trying to associate our name with your event if we can Oh, I'm so grateful to you. I'm so grateful to you. You know, you've got such a such a wide reach and such amazing people follow you that um, um, be gr- it'd be great to meet you as well. Come come along. Um, yeah, it's it's just we have we have lots of fun with wordplay really, and um, it's just it's just constant. I want everyone to fall in love with wordplay as well. You know, not just not just to be together, but like minded people um, just having fun. And it's when we're having fun, it's very it's very relaxing the the wordplay fun is 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 there all the time i go to i go to my local cafe and and um every morning i've got into the habit of having two boiled eggs and and, and um, every morning and I, w- I went in there and the <laughs> the lady serving is french and it suddenly occurred to me that's uh that's a uh, deserve and i thought i deserve deserve <laughs> did she like <laughs> it kind of it. i've deserved i deserve deserve and uh, <laughs> there's all this nuttiness going on in my head all the time so I, so I'd love to love to share that with yeah, you. Yeah, we'll we'll get a look inside that head now <laughs> and uh, find out how that happens. Fantastic. Yes. yes, Grace. Excellent. So, what else is there? Anything else to tell us, or shall we shall we leave the trail oh. there and then, uh, or leave the introduction there and then we'll mention more about it as the events are forthcoming. That would be fantastic. And just to say, you know, if, if you do sign when you do sign up, um, just subscribe to the um, to the website and and also I run. Um, every time, every other time I get published in the Guardian, I run little um, wordplay, um, wordplay Zoom events. So we've got a lovely, friendly community already there. We've been doing it for a couple of years. Um, we'd love to see you on that as well. We play ridiculous little wordplay games, and I and and I give Brilliant. 
something to do every time, you know, write a long anagram or something like that, or, you know, and, and, and that they're ever so friendly. So that'd be great. Come and where does that happen through your website or somewhere else? Uh, yeah. Through anyone who's subscribed, um, they'll get notice of that, that as well. So, um, Brilliant. I need to double check whether I, I think if you subscribe to this, you might only get access to, uh, the creator crossword events, but I'll, I'll, I'll double check with my, uh, off the record. I think this is an off record, off the record thing, Mark. You know, I need to. Yeah, no, nobody will ever see this. <laughs> with the IT person on Monday, um, how that's going to work. But um, yeah, so fantastic. Okay, well, we'll look at the comments on. You know, assuming I managed to get this edited into a video for the channel, uh, we'll see what the comments are and what people are asking about the event. But I'm really looking forward to it, John. I hope it um, hope it goes incredibly well for you and the celebrities charities and. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. Who did you who did you have on the last series? Then who did who have you done this with? Uh, we had uh, we had Dave Gorman, who was brilliant. I think oh, of him course, on yeah, yeah. we've done well. a number of his puzzles on the channel. Yeah, yeah, he's he's obviously obviously great. Um, and uh, a couple of other comedians. We had uh, Rob Deering and Simon Evans both Fantastic. came along. Um, we had oh my goodness we actually had one with uh will shorts who's the oh, uh, yeah, new yeah. york times crossword editor he's kind of mr crosswords america isn't he yeah he's, he's he's so big they did they had a version of him on you know on uh, the simpsons a, yeah yeah you know, and so he's yeah he, he voiced it himself i think as well <laughs> fantastic brilliant <laughs> okay well i'm really looking forward to it thank you so much for joining us today and um looking forward to catching up again Thank you so pens, much. If not it's before. Been a joy. Good luck to everything with you as well. Brilliant. Thanks. And see you soon. Bye for now.